Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Missing Those Lego Robotics. Today's video is about a question I got. It's a question about Spike Prime or EV3. It was a question from a mom about her son in seventh grade about ready to, you know, venture into robotics. So if you want to see the question and my answers to Spike Prime or EV3, stay with me. Okay, so Mom Lemur says, question, my son is going to seventh grade and knows some basic coding with no experience on robotics. I want to get him a set so he can learn it at home with some online courses. Can you suggest EV3 or Spike Prime? Heard that EV3 is outdated and slower. Meanwhile, Spike Prime is for elementary. I do want something lasting the next few years since it is quite expensive. Please help to decide. Well, let's figure this out. So Mon Lemur, it sounds like, so here's the facts that I got. Seventh grade, no coding or robotics experience, and then you want him to be able to grow into this kit. And so what I'm gonna go ahead and do is lay out for everybody how I feel about Spike Prime and EV3. Since I've had a chance to do a lot of EV3 and I have been looking at the Spike Prime a lot, and I'm gonna go ahead and give you basically my opinion on which one you should get. So I basically told Mom Lemur that she should go with EV3. And I have five reasons why I chose EV3 over Spike Prime. And here is number five. And these are not listed in any importance of order. I just had to have a number five, four, three, two, and one. So number five, I told Mom Lemur that she should go with EV3 because EV3 has been around longer. So if she wants her son to get some online help and tutorials and videos to look at, there are just a ton of videos and tutorials for EV3. If you try to look on YouTube for Spike Prime videos, you're not gonna find a ton just because it hasn't been around that long and just because I don't think many people are venturing into it yet. And it's just either they're not posting it on YouTube or maybe it's just they're still trying to figure things out. So if she wants to give her son lots of help, especially online, there's just a ton of resources with EV3. And if her son runs into some problems with Spike Prime, with programming, using Scratch, and it's just not going to, you know, Spike Prime is just not going to offer a whole lot of help for her son at this moment. Reason number four that I chose EV3 over Spike Prime is EV3 just has, I, I feel, just so much more expansion possibilities and project possibilities. And it just feels like you can do more with EV3 than Spike Prime at this moment. Now I know Spike Prime has an expansion set, but EV3 does, and it just feels like, and you guys can comment in the comment section below, I just feel that EV3 gives her son and everybody more possibilities, more options with the EV3 than Spike Prime. And if you look at the amount of pieces, EV3 has more pieces than the Spike Prime does also. And I just feel that if her son is in seventh grade, I just feel like the EV3 is going to push him a lot more than the Spike Prime would be. I think it just gives him more chance to grow with the EV3 than the Spike Prime. Number three, and it kind of leads in from the one we just did, because her son is in seventh grade, I feel that EV3 is the best option for her. Um, if you're in seventh grade, I just feel like the Spike Prime is geared more towards the lower grades, maybe the third, fourth, fifth, maybe sixth. You guys can tell me if I'm wrong, but it just feels like the EV3 is meant more for the middle school, you know, eighth, ninth, maybe 10th grade. It just feels like the Spike Prime is just not geared to go that direction. Um, looking at it and spending a lot of time with Spike Prime, it just feels like that's the case. So I, that's another reason why I told Mom Lemur to tell her son, hey, we should go EV3 over Spike Prime. Just the ability to, you know, as far as growing into it, expanding his knowledge, programming, building, 
I just felt like the EV3 is going to offer, offer him more opportunities to grow than the Spike Prime would. Reason number two. I feel like with Spike Prime and EV3, they're pretty comparable on price. So that's another reason why I told Mom Lemur to go with EV3. If the Spike Prime was considerably less money, I would have possibly told her to go with Spike Prime. Again, there's some other factors that I've just mentioned where that might have been tough. But because they're so evenly priced, the Spike Prime was about $330, $350, and so is the EV3. So I just felt like you get more bang for your buck with the EV3 as far as more pieces, just being able to do more, and I feel that's the way it is, to be able to do more with the EV3 than the Spike Prime. It feels like when I open up the Spike Prime and I start to build and put things together, it just feels empty like I should have more things to put together. When I open up the EV3, it just is like, whoa, sensors, gears, um, you know, beams, axles, not that the Spike Prime doesn't have that, but it just feels a lot less full with the Spike Prime than the EV3. So number two is I just feel like for the price, Spike Prime just doesn't give me enough, you know, in the kit as EV3 does for that same amount of money. And reason number one that I chose EV3 over Spike Prime, I just feel at this moment that EV3 is just hands down a better option it's just uh, you know and it just because I have more experience with it I've spent five years already with the EV3 some of you have probably spent more it just feels like EV3 is in a different you know league world than the spike prime um, all the competitions first Lego league has been with EV3 I can't say that I'll even you know have my team members venture with the spike prime with first Lego League, I'll, I'll obviously leave that up to them. But as far as just compatibility, um, user friendly, I just feel like e EV3 is just worlds apart than Spike Prime. It just feels like, you know, when you start to get with that EV3, just things start to click. I guess it's just Spike Prime is so new. I just haven't been able to wrap my head around everything with Spike Prime. But, you know, to um, maybe rehash what I've already said about the Spike Prime. It just doesn't feel like it's on the level with EV3. Um, nothing bad about the bright colors, but it just feels like the bright colors are meant to wow and woo the lower grade level students. And the EV3 just seems, you know, down to basic, you know, business. Hey, I'm not here to wow you with colors. I'm just here to wow you with what we can do with sensors, the motors, the gears, everything. So those of you that are, you know, with me on EV3 are probably going, yeah, EV3. And it's not about, you know, jumping on a certain bandwagon. It's just EV3 in my book. And I felt confident telling Mom Lemur to go with EV3. That's just what my gut says. It just says that EV3 is a better buy, a better option. It just gives her son a better, you know, foothold platform for robotics and room to grow than Spike Prime would be. I think, I feel like if I, you know, if they had Spike Prime, it just feels like they would, their next step might be the EV3. So why not just cut out the middle and go straight to EV3? And then I can see maybe her son going to, you know, VEX or some other type robotics after EV3. But EV3, I feel like, you know, her son, if the, he's in seventh grade, has so many more years to develop knowledge, programming, everything with the EV3 before, you know, they exhaust all of the options because this is my fifth year with EV3 and it still feels like I have tons more to learn and enjoy. So there you go, guys. The five reasons I told Mom Lemur to tell her son to go Lego EV3. All right, so hopefully that was helpful for some of you that might have that decision to make also. That's just my opinion. So, you know, do your research and gather all the other information. I'll go ahead and leave you guys links to the EV3 and Spike Prime. If you guys want to do your own research, that's fine. Okay, guys, I'm Mr. Hino from Mr. Hino's Lego, Lego Robotics. I'm out. He's out. He's out. He's out.
Peace out.